Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 7 of our Axum campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we've been stabilizing our realm, also looking for the targets for us to attack. I guess our primary and like say easiest target for us to attack right now would be Sokotra if we were to pick up a claim on that. Uh, our diplomat should be already working on that. Uh, also, why is our spy master not working? I think we have just replaced him recently, right? Um, let's just, let's just go and temporarily send him to skim in our capital just to find out if anyone trying to kill me. And our court rabbi, or rabbi or whatever, should be trying to proselytize in our capital. So yeah, Sokotra or either Rasid. In the previous episode I've noticed that Rasid actually joined the war against the uh, Seljuks. Uh, and also Fatimids are part of this war. So, if Fatimids or these guys were to lose a lot of their armies to Seljuks during this uh, during this war, it would be a pretty nice opportunity for me to just go and jump on Rasids and try to like steal this uh, Dacia of Afar from them that they stole from uh, whoever owned it previously. Air Marshal has put forward a plan of experimental with new military technology inspired by supposedly brilliant inventor and engineer that has recently... Okay. Yeah, let's go and give you money on that, why not? And we have another one, Sunni Uprising, three fucking thousand troops, of course. Mm, that's really annoying. But at least we actually now have uh, pretty much enough armies, even without uh, mercenaries, to hopefully put it down by ourselves. Also, sub is planes, so if I were to engage... If I were to engage them in here, it shouldn't be too problematic. I could hear someone sneaky run around. Okay, I could make my son cruel. Or he could use some practice reading. I wouldn't like him to become cruel, so let's not do that. Um, bandit something something also. Yeah, this keyboard shortcut's actually still working for raising the armies. Let's go and try to get them to Axum as well. I would like to engage these guys with, uh, with as much... Uh, with as much uh, troops as I can, or with as many troops as I can. Uh, where is still like five, 400 troops? Oh, apparently... Okay, apparently haven't been raised in here as well. That's strange. Okay, that sh should be most of them. Mm, I'm not gonna be able to get people from a sub, but shouldn't be too problematic. Screaming Arrows, you receive a report of on the outcome of the military experiment that your marshal asked you to sponsor, apparently a new kind of self-propelled arrows was tried out based on Far Eastern models. Lit by fire, these arrows would scream and fly away, leaving a trail of smoke and then explode on impact, killing several of the livestock used as a practic tar practice target. Those of dubious accuracy and prone to failure in the rainy weather, these experiments have still proven some valuable lessons. Okay. It only gives me military points. It would be real nice if, we, if it were to like directly give me these freaking arrows and, and just like a benefit in a uh, combat. Unfortunately it wouldn't it wouldn't be like that, but that's fine too. Okay, so we're having almost all of our troops in here. We lost a mayor. Okay. Do I need to replace him manually? I don't. That's fine. Um oh he probably was in the council. A spy master, god damn it. Okay, let's oh 29 spy master. Wow, okay. That's impressive. Let's go and get you Mm, okay, skim in the capital for some time. And then maybe like in a year I'm gonna send you to Constantinople to steal some extra technology. With 29 Spy Master, you're probably gonna be like providing me with points every single damn month. And that would be really sweet. So, oh yeah, and this freaking Sunni uprising is really... Really bad timing on this thing. I really don't want to lose my armies when I have such an opportunity of attacking these guys. I guess I would have to. Oh! All of a sudden this guy has 17,000 troops and he hired 10,000. Oh, that's great. You have 100 ducats and you're losing 18 per month. I really hope you're gonna get... Um, you're gonna go in debt and this mercenary is actually gonna turn around on you. It would be really sweet. Mm. Okay, let's go and get this... Me, uh, this nice leader in the middle. Me on the flank. Even though there's no mountains in here, but still. Uh, and my f my organizer probably not gonna help as well uh, on the flank, but still, I don't really need to organize anything. And here these guys are not planning to run away anywhere. And yeah, we should be able to crush them. No problem. And 100% war score immediately. Yes, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Go away. Some 
extra military or not military uh, religious authority, moral authority would be really nice because from the start of the game, for like seven episodes already, we still haven't managed to convert a single province in our realm, which is quite annoying to be honest. Mm. Also, could I like just go and take a Bassinia? I definitely can, but they're gonna be protected by these like smaller guys I have feeling. And I would really not like to mess with them. Okay, so have you lost your money yet? No, oh, okay. Alodia, you again. This time is 4k troops. What the hell, Alodia? What's going on and where are you getting them from? I don't know, but looks like you're trying... You're trying your luck again. I still have enough money for the mercenaries, so sh sh you might as well try to attack me. Uh, actually, I almost have the same sized army as you. I wouldn't even need that many mercenaries, but yeah, of course. Sure, Alodia, you could try to attack me. If you want to, I'm still quite confused why do you have a CB on this province if you don't have a direct connection to this province and even you don't even have a border directly with me and you're still somehow allowed to declare holy wars on me oh actually am I allowed to like declare a holy war on Seljuks? let me see make tributary okay so I, I have no idea I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be working like that, but whatever. Uh, sure, lose some prestige. On oh, Trinicat is actually mountains. That's not really great. I wouldn't really like to engage him in the mountains. But considering that we're going to be raising mercenaries, no matter what, doesn't really matter. Losing mercenaries' lives is not a problem. Uh, my Shimasa and I has almost stopped talking to each other when Chancellor Jakob intervened. He made Shinasa start talking to me, even like. Even like me a little bit. Okay, what what is that about? So I could give him some money or he only did his job. Okay, Fortin Duck is a little bit too much for just improving relations with some random person in the court, but I guess I don't really want to lose opinion, so I guess we might as well spend it. So um let's get some mercenaries. Not really much to choose from. So we're just gonna take the first ones. So I'm gonna get the great leader on one side, me on, on the other side because I'm a mountaineer. Mountaineer? Yeah, that's not a word. Um I might as well have this inspiring leader on one side. So yeah, now my mountain defense or mountain combat modifier should actually help. Oh. And also our rabbi died of inf of being informed. That's unfortunate. Let's get a new one, he probably was, yeah, also our court physician. So we need a new one. And you should continue the work of proselytizing our freaking capital. Why was it even our freaking capital in the first place? With the wrong religion. Oh, and you're actually retreating. Okay, let's go try to cut you off in Hayai and take you again. Probably not the best idea to leave you in the mountains. But still, I guess we're gonna just go and chase you. Birth of the Assassins. What is present? That a Shia missionary, Hasab Yasab, has founded a religious order known as Hashashins. Okay, that's a standard event. Not entirely sure what use uh, these guys have, if anything. But oh well, on oh, my son already 12. Okay, time flies really quickly. Uh, he still does his uh, does have his gout and it's probably not gonna go away anywhere. Why the heck he became curious and brooding? If I were to, if I've been making him into martial education because curious is like diploma diplomacy right and brooding is like this thing okay i guess we're gonna make you into diplomat considering your stats even though i would probably prefer to be a military or have a military education oh my goodness why the hell you're running so fast should i just go and apply or set myself in the middle as an organizer. Oh, I actually managed to catch you somehow. And there is our lunatic things. Um, happen so we could pass a turnip act, the pants act, Holland's wall act, or cessation of violence act. Let's get cessation of violence. Cessation of violence act. The new law has been written and uh, queries are now disturbing, disturbing it to all of your vassals. Whereas the children of Zerum have become desens desensitized to violence and whereas the general population seem to have lost all regard for the sense of human life. 
Therefore, I decree that all form of violence directed at the human beings be outlawed, including both capital and corporal punishment, as well as the torture of criminals, hiddens and foreigners. As only social groups are instead to be rehabilitated and eventually released back into society as protective society citizens. Yeah, people think I'm crazy because I'm freaking proposing like democracy or whatever. But it's medieval times, so it's not really allowed in here. Uh, okay, there's our one battle. We capture some random person who is not probably even worth a ransom, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh well. Um, should I be like disbanding the murder uh, the mercenaries right away? Just not to spend money? Probably not. These guys still have pretty sizable chunk of his army, so we're just going like follow him to you. Oh, what is that? Malaysia have bad news from Axum. My attempts to increase the country's levy met. Okay. So, levy reinforcement rate minus 200%, but only for a couple of months. Okay, it's not really that terrible, but I'm still kind of displeased. Mm, okay, how's this guy's war going? You have still 3.5 troops, K troops, this guy still have 19, and 12,000 hired. <laughs> and his monthly balance is even getting better, even though he's getting more mercenaries. What the hell is going on? How the Seljuks are winning, or uh, losing rather? That's really strange. Oh well. You're sitting on the floor of your bedchamber wearing one of your shoes as a head. Yeah, that's already happened to us. Not even once. Uh, oh, and there is our claim on Sokotra. So I'm definitely gonna take it. It's pretty expensive. But there's no real other way for us to... Uh, to get the claim on this place. So I guess I would have to take it. And also, I think I would need to disband the mercenaries like right now because I only have 100 ducats left. Doesn't really matter if I were to dismiss them, dismiss them in my capital or not, so we're just going to dismiss them as is and continue moving with our regular troops. Oh, looks looks like our other general actually died in the battle, so I guess I would now need to I would now need to be at the middle flank, and I guess it's gonna be. I'm gonna be able to use my uh, organizer trait at least. So, where are you now gonna be retreating? Considering that I've beat you in your own land. Are you gonna be moving to Trinicat? I'm not entirely sure. I was gonna try to go here. No, you're moving from Napata. That's weird. Why are you even allowed in, to retreat in... Uh, not in your lands? I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. Let's hope this battle is just gonna set the war for us. 73%. No, we're still not managing to... Stack wipe his army, unfortunately. But we're starting to get sick in war score, so looks like we're not gonna be uh, taking receipts, at least at least like for now. But yeah, this is really disappointing how this guy like <laughs> yeah, look at this. He still has all of his uh, hired armies, but now his monthly balance is plus five ducats. Doesn't make a, any amount of sense to me. It's a little bit like OP. And that's what's gonna kill us. If he were to like attack us, he he could just raise all the mercenaries in the world. And not even, uh, not even spent a single damn ducat. I don't know how, how to achieve this thing myself. Uh, we also I can designate to regent, but I'm not gonna be having one. Also, what are you doing? Kill Aurela. Who are you trying to kill? Aurela. Just some, some random quotes here. Why? Um, we'll just ask him to stop, even though I don't really care. But I guess we might as well. Okay, and let's just chase this guy's army just in case. Even though I think we should be able to get to 100% with just taking war score while he's running. Maybe not. Maybe we would need to have uh, one extra battle. So yeah, uh, Alode, I really hope you're gonna stop doing this, uh, doing bullshit like that and trying to attack me because it's definitely not going well for you. But I guess I'm. <laughs> I'm happy for this free extra percent moral authority and couple of ducats you returned to me, so that's something at least. Oh, what is that? Introduce heir to the realm. As an heir soon of your age, you can choose to formally introduce him to to or uh, introduce him or her to the vassals of the realm. It's gonna help build trust, as it will certainly prove useful for the chart in the future. Send out the invitations. Oh, uh, hmm. I don't remember this being a thing before, or maybe it was. I remember some kind of event like this, but maybe it was the part of some mod. I don't remember having it in the 
vanilla game, but sure. Kevin Lauter your vassals to partake in the formal tradition of your heir. He will uh, have to exchange money, pleasant, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, just just uh, flavor text. Uh, Rebel Lebna of Ambrose is renowned godly and learned vassal of yours, and after having introduced himself to Gondor, Jebna approaches you with an offer. Lebna is willing to spend some time teaching Gondor some of the more intricate parts of the Torah in exchange for your favor. Oh, really? Giving you one looks one learning for a favor from this guy? I guess it's gonna be fine, considering that our council like has no power in the realm. I guess having a favor, or giving this guy a favor, shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? Sure. It's gonna give him a point in learning. It's gonna resist, it introduces himself to Rabbi Lebna. Ambras, he is not only present himself with grace, but also manages to impress Lebna by skillfully complimenting him. Okay. That's good. Uh, let's go and send down our armies. And actually, we probably should like go and attack Sokotro like right this second. There's no real reason for me to wait, right? How's my my fleet's looking? 1700s only. No, oh, that might be a problem. It seems as if Gondor has started getting along incredibly well with the child. One of the visiting vassals, indeed, apparently Gondor and Magda Adigrat are becoming fast friends. Or Adigratid. Okay. That's lovely. Mm hmm. Okay, you... <laughs> You've decreased my labor reinforcement rate again. That's not great. And while having a pleasant conversation, you are suddenly interrupted by an infernal infernal rucus. Upon further investigation, it seems as if Gondor has gotten into a fight with a child, one of the one of the visiting vassals. Okay, so you just picked up a friend and a rival as well. Mm, and we are apparently having a dangerous faction for whatever reason. Increased council power in Axum. And even this guy, with 73 opinion of me, is a part of it. That's bullshit. Why is this guy hating me? Because not on the council. Oh yeah, you're you're like pretty terrible, so it's your own fault. Mm, yes, yeah, there's I couldn't even like set you or send you anywhere. I already have enough terrible people on my council. Um as hours go by, you notice Gondor's mood starting to drop. Oh my goodness, he just became depressed because <laughs> it's all been going so damn well and now you just became depressed. And you still have your gout. Don't you say you're gonna freaking die because of this uh, meeting. Baron, this guy... Okay, he's proposing to give him one marshal. Yeah, sure. I guess we're gonna uh, owe another one favor. So, talking about Sokotra, we only have 17 ships. And Sokotrans have 16k... Uh, 1600 troops. So, if I were to land my 1700 on this island and heals... I might just lose because because of all the terrain adventures advantages they're gonna have. Okay, you just introduced yourself. Those of your vassals have left, and Connor looks relieved. He's obviously exhausted from all the formalities, but having introduced like this will hopefully save him well in the future. Okay, but he have a freaking depression now. <laughs> that's 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 great. Um, is there any way I could like seek treatment for his illness? No, I could seek treatment for my own illness. I still have freaking syphilis. Mm, oh well. So, is there any way for me to get extra boats? Not really. Is these guys are still at war? No, they're not. Selchuks, have you really lost? Looks like they have. Mm, a white piece, okay. Yeah, that's bullshit. This guy didn't lost any uh, any mercenaries, and he even has like more money than he had uh, when he's been starting. That's that's ridiculous. But yeah, I really hope that when if I were to conquer Sakotra, I'm gonna be able to reach reach this one Indian provinces I've been so eager to take. Oh, what is that? You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for an trace, but no avail. And I freaking get an infection. Bug snakes and rotten sores, however. Oh my goodness. That's not great. I sense my pet, but it feels even worse. Minus two health. Okay. Time to seek treatment for all the illnesses. And finally, successful mission to Oxum. Finally, our first province has been converted to proper Jewish faith. Okay. Let's go and send our rabbi now to somewhere else, like Wag. Just try to convert our initial provinces. Your court physician has come to see you and offers treatment. 
Mm. Let's just go for test treatment, just in case. Have returned to your court, the hunt for this elusive white beast seems fruitless. Okay. And I actually feel better. Nice. A successful treatment. That's nice to have a great uh, rabbi or a great court physician. But we still have freaking syphilis and another one infection. So minus four health. This gives me plus two. Mild illness plus one. So in total I still have minus one. So there's a chance I could die. But for now it's actually the right time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this and we're gonna think how we're gonna be trying to attack Sakotra in the next episode because we don't have enough boats to invade them unfortunately so we'll see what I, what I could do about that but for now it's time for me to have a break guys. So if you enjoyed watching this you could leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and if you want to leave a comment definitely do it and I would answer as soon as I could. See you later guys. Bye bye.